Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh May all the peace and blessings of the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you Today as you can see I want us to look KCC questions on SARS We'll just be looking two questions which require some other concepts for them to be solved Now the question number one is Without using a mathematical table or a calculator express root 3 out of 1 minus cos 30 in Z form and simplify. Now, we want to know cos 30. What is the cos, cos 30? Now, <coughs> solution. For you to solve question number one, you need to know what is cos 30 in form of, of a set. Now, you need to draw an, an equilateral triangle of size 2 centimeters. 2, 2, then you divide it to the middle, 1, 1. Now we have the hypotenuse, we have the base. Can we get the, 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 the height? Now it will be 2 squared minus 1 square, which is 3. Now it will be root 3 to get the value here. Now here will be root 3. <laughs> because 2 squared is 4 minus 1, 3 square rooted to get that, it is root 3. Here we have 60, here we have 60, 30, we have 30. <laughs> The con is a form two concept. Now we have the formula of so ka toa. This one is equal to opposite of a hypotenuse, adjacent of a hypotenuse, opposite of a adjacent. <coughs> Quickly, it's a very concept. I'm just doing a review. Now you ask cos. Now cos becomes adjacent of a hypotenuse. Now cos that is here. Now where is the adjacent? Adjacent is root 3, right? What about the hypotenuse? Root 2. Now, cos 30 becomes adjacent, which is root 3, of a hypotenuse, which is 2. Now, root 3 over 2. Now, let's solve the equation together. Now, it will be root 3 out of 1 minus root 3 over 2. Now, we have expressed the equation in side form. We have expressed the equation in side form. That was the first step that you were supposed to be doing. Now, and simplify. How do we simplify? Now, this one, we multiply, we rationalize the denominator. How do we rationalize the denominator? We multiply by, the, by its conjugate on both sides. Now it will be 1 plus 3 over 2 out of 1 plus 3 out of 2. Basically now it will be root 3 times 1, it will be root 3. Root 3 times root 3 over 2 plus root 9 over 2. Now this one is a difference of 2 squares. It's a difference of what? 2 squares. It's a case like this. A plus B into bracket A minus B. How do you solve? We say A squared minus B squared. Now here we have our A is 1. So it's equal 1 squared minus root 3 over 2 squared. Now it will be 1 minus, this one will cancel with this, minus 3 over 4. Now 1 minus 3 over 4, it will be a quarter. Meaning, without wasting time, try to use the trigonometric identity. We have, no, yes, we have the quadratic, I mean the quadratic identity. Now what are some of the quadratic identities? We have three quadratic identities. We have a plus b squared. Don't waste time ever in your life. It will be a squared, a times b, a b times 2, plus 2ab, b squared. Trigonometric identity number 1. Trigonometric identity number 2, a minus b squared. Now it will be a squared. a minus m is minus b, minus ab times 2, minus 2ab, minus b squared, plus b squared. Trigonometric identity number 3, a plus b in the bracket, a minus b. A similar scenario with this. We say a squared minus b squared. Now our a here is 1, our b here is root 3 over 2. Now squaring, we get 1 minus root 3. This will cancel, the, the root will cancel with the, with the square. This one will be 4. So 1 minus the quarter is going to get a quarter of a, a quarter. Now, narrow down plus, we have root 3 plus, now square root of 9 is 3 over 2 out of 1 out of 4. Now, further simplification of this will be Further simplification of this will be root 3 plus 
3 over 2 now that it is divided by a, this means it is divided by 1 over 4 basically when we that means that now it will be root 3 plus 3 over 2 we multiply by 4 to make the work easier now it will be 4 root 3 plus now 3 over 2 times 4 it will be by 2 1 by 2 2 it will be 6 now we have expressed it in side form now we can as well simplify you have 2 in the bracket 2 root 3 plus 3 because they have a common factor which is 2 that is the solution to the answer now this is the question so I forget to write it but I have written it right now right sign 45 in the form of a hence simplify leaving your answer in side form now let's look at this one question very quickly now it will be we have root 8 out of 1 plus sine 45 now we are told express sine 45 in side form now in this case what you do you draw an isosceles tri an isosceles triangle with the isosceles sides having 45 45 now let's look this is the isosceles triangle you have here, here. 45 45 good now the isosceles triangle is having sides 1 1 now let's get the hypotenuse now hypotenuse will be 1 square plus 1 square square rooted now 2 square rooted now the hypotenuse is square root 2 2 now sign is cotenus s or h Opposite all of our hypotenuse. Now let's look at this one. Is input five? Opposite is one. Hypotenuse is root two. Now let's replace. Now we have expressed the input five in form of sine, where we have one over root two. Now it will be root eight out of one plus one over root two. Now it, once it reaches here, you start now rationalization of the denominator by multiplying on both sides the conjugate. Conjugate basically means we just get, put the other post sign that is negative. Time is 1 minus 1 out of root 2, 1 minus 1 out of root 2. Quickly, root 8 times 1 is root 8 plus, no, minus root 8 times 1 over root 2, it will be root 8 over root 2. Good. Root 8 times 1, root 8. This one, root 8 over root 2. Divided by 1 plus 1 over root 2, a difference of 2 squares, it will be 1 square minus 1 over root 2 squared. Now it will be 1 minus... One, one square is one over this will cancel with this over two. Now we're going to get a half divided by a half. Very good. Now let's this this one into the, the, the ones that we knew. It will be two times four square rooted minus two times four. I mean square root two times four over root two. Now this one will be. 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 over root 2. Now, divided by a half. Divided by a half. Now, bring it here, it will be 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 over root 2 divided by a half. Now, what follows next? It will be 2 into bracket 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 over root 2. It will be. Now, 2, 2 is a common factor. Now we can factor it out. It will be 4 into bracket root 2 minus root 2 over 2. Now, root 2 over root 2. Now, root 2 divided by root 2. 
Now finally, 4 root 2, this one root 2. Uh, let's continue. It will be 4 root 2 minus 4 root 2 over root 2. Now, once you reach here, you're going to see we have root 2 root 2. Now they will cancel one another. We're going to get 4 into bracket root 2 minus 4 because this one they will cancel one another. Now we're going to have 4 root 2. Now it will be 4 into bracket root 2 minus 1. And that is the final answer as 4 into bracket root 2 minus 1 because we simplify root 2 root 2 we're going to get 4 into bracket root 2 minus 1. Have a prosperous day ahead and wish you a successful life in this world as well in the year.